guys happy Sunday. I hope you've had awesome weeks. I hope you're enjoying the cold weather. And I hope you're ready for songs of Mr. Levi. Let's do it. Good morning, Fellowship Kids. It's me, Mr. Levi. I'm so excited to see you guys on this amazing Sunday. We're going to do some worship together. We're going to do two songs. The first song we're going to do is called Zacchaeus. This song is awesome because it has some of the most fun hand motions. I love these hand motions. So here we go. Just as a reminder, I know you guys are expert hand motioners, but I'm going to just give you a quick reminder. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. So y'all can either do this with your fingers, or do this with your fingers, but Zacchaeus was a very small, he wasn't this small, but he was very, very short. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree. So we're pretending to be Zacchaeus, climbing up that tree, for the Lord he wanted to see. So Zacchaeus is up in the tree, he's looking for Jesus. And as the Savior passed that way. So we got a little Jesus here walking down the road. Jesus is our Savior. He's walking down the road. As our Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. So Jesus looking up in the tree because he knows Zacchaeus is up there. Jesus knows everything. And he says, Zacchaeus, you come down for I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. So we're going to, that's marching over to Zacchaeus' house. A little roof over our heads. Going to your house today. Y'all think you can do that? We might do that a few times. <clears throat> All right. Here we go, you guys. I love this song. So I'll try to do hand motions while I play, but it'll be good. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today. Going to your house today. Let's do it again, you guys. Here we go. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as a savior passed that way, he And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. One more time, you guys, here we go. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down for I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. job guys <clears throat> man i love that song this song is so much fun because we're talking about a story in scripture and it's not just some story it's history it actually happened it's a real story a true story there's a man named zacchaeus and zacchaeus was a tax collector and so what a tax collector did is he took money from the people and he'd give it to the government the roman government and so the jews weren't a big fan of him because not only did he take money away, but he also took more than he should have, and he kept some of it from, for himself. He was not very nice. So one day, he, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming to his town. And he went, oh my goodness, I've got to see Jesus. But he was this very small, very short man. So he climbed up in a tree, and he was looking for Jesus. He was like, where are you, Jesus? And Jesus saw Zacchaeus, and he said, Zacchaeus, I want you to come down, because I want to hang out with you today. And everybody was like, 
oh my goodness, Jesus is going to hang out with Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus is not a nice person. But Jesus said, I do want to hang out with Zacchaeus. And while he was hanging out with Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus felt in his heart that he had to make a change. And he said, Jesus, I'm going to give, not only give the money back, but I'm going to give more than what I took from the people and I'm going to give it all away. Zacchaeus' heart was changed because of Jesus. Isn't that amazing? Just like our hearts are changed because of Jesus. I love that story. That's such a great story. Okay, you guys. <clears throat> this next song we're going to do is called Good, Good Father. There are no hand motions to this one, but the, it does have some beautiful lyrics to it, which I'm very excited to sing with you guys today. So and we're just going to be singing our praises to the Lord today, and we're just gonna we're just going to sing together. Here we go. Actually, let me do this real fast. There we go. Here we go. Oh, I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like. But I've heard a tender whisper of love in the dead of night and you Good Father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you, it's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. Oh, I've seen many searching for answers. Good father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am, it's who I am. cause you're perfect in all of your ways. Go. 
good, good father It's who you are It's who you are It's who you are And I'm loved by you It's who I am It's who I am It's who I am Good singing, you guys! Good job. Oh, I love that song. It kept getting a niche on my face, though. I kept having to rub my face on my shoulder. <clears throat> I love that song, you guys. That song is so wonderful to sing. I think my favorite part of that song, let me find it. Um, oh, I love that. Oh, in verse 2, it says, uh, I've seen many searching for answers far and wide. But I know we're all searching for answers only you provide. This is my favorite part. Because you know just what we need before we even say a word. You're a good, good father. Guys, I, that's true. That's true. That's in the Bible. The Lord knows the words on our tongue before they're even on, like, he knows what we're going to say before even, we even think about saying them. He's that powerful. He knows. He is all powerful. He is all present. He knows everything. He created all time and space. That was his idea. What we are doing is, he is so, oh my gosh, guys, I, I lose, it's so crazy. He knows what we need. He knows what we're going to say. He knows what we're going to do. Before we even do it, he is all powerful. And what's amazing is he is, not only is he all powerful, but that all powerful creator of the universe looks on us and loves us. He loves us. The creator of the universe loves us. And he loves us so much. He gave us the greatest gift we could have ever received. Do you guys know what that gift is? That gift is is Jesus. Jesus was that gift. God loves us so much that he gave his son Jesus for us so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal everlasting life. That's true. That's in scripture. I am so thankful. Not only do we serve an all-powerful God, but we serve an all-powerful God who looks on us and loves us so dearly. And will not leave us or forsake us. Mm -mm -mm. I can't believe what good news. What good news this morning. Man, thank you guys for singing with me this morning. I am so thankful for all of your little voices. I'm so thankful for all your little hearts. And guys, here's the truth the Lord loves you more than you can possibly imagine. More than you can possibly imagine. I'm so proud of you guys, and I will see you guys very, very soon. I love you guys. Bye. Whoop. There we go. Bye. The writer of Hebrews explained that faith is being sure that what we hope for will actually happen. Faith is obeying God because we trust him. By faith, we believe that God created everything from nothing just by speaking. Many people in the Bible had faith, and this pleased God. Abel had faith when he gave an offering to God and God accepted his offering. We must have faith in order to please God. By faith, we believe that he exists and that he rewards those who trust in him. Noah had faith too. He obeyed God by building an ark to rescue his family. Noah warned other people because he trusted that God was telling the truth when he said a flood was coming. God was pleased with Noah. Abraham had faith when God called him to leave his home. Abraham did not know where he was going, but he obeyed God. God made promises to Abraham, and Abraham believed that God was going to keep his promises. Abraham's wife, Sarah, had faith. She trusted God to give her a family, even though she was too old to have children. Sarah was 90 and Abraham was 100 when they had their son Isaac. Abraham and Sarah went on to have many descendants. God gave them a family as numerous as the stars in the sky. Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, and Moses had faith. Rahab had faith 
when she hid the Israelite spies in Jericho. King David had faith too. All of these people trusted God and so did many others. Having faith was not easy. Many of these faithful people suffered and they all died before God's great promise. The arrival of Jesus came true, but they believed that God had a wonderful plan. God was pleased with them because they trusted him. God kept his promise to send the Messiah, his own son, Jesus, to rescue people from sin. Jesus is the true hero of the Bible. He gives us faith. We can look to him because in him, all of God's promises will come true. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the songs of Mr. Levi and our lesson. When we think about the Hall of Fame, we may think about baseball or football or basketball or maybe hockey, maybe even a musician like in the Country Music Hall of Fame, but what an honor to be some of the people that we learned about today that are in the Hall of Faith. And I hope that we live lives that our faith is something that is the most well-known thing about us. Guys, I hope you have wonderful weeks and I'll see you soon.